working on the simple task. Okay? All right. So we are working on the simple task. Mm -hmm. Simple task. Okay? So we said that when we talk about a simple task, we use, as in any other tense, we use the pronouns like I, mm -hmm. it, 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 we, you, and they, right? Okay, but we do something special. Para decir las cosas en pasado, Jaime, okay, let me see. Vamos a ver qué tanto te acuerdas de esto. Porque si has, si has, si has visto la clase donde vieron el pasado, ¿verdad? A veces si, si asististe o no. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, Jaime, what do we do to say things in past? What do we do to say things in past? ¿Qué hacemos para decir cosas en pasado, Jaime? What do we do? What do we do to say things in past? In the past. What do we do? Cuando queremos decir algo en pasado, ¿qué es lo que tenemos que hacer? What should we do? Do you remember? Yes or no? What should we do to say things in past? Para decir algo en pasado, ¿qué es lo que tenemos que hacer? You remember Jaime or not? ¿Te acuerdas, no? Jaime. Use ED. All right, all right. Very good. Okay. You are kind of close. That's más o menos. Okay. Look, when we use the simple task, we use it to talk about actions happened in a past time. Usamos el pasado simple para hablar de acciones que pasaron en pasado, right? So, in order for us to do this, we use the verbs in past. Usamos verbos en pasado, right? For example, we can say, I played soccer. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can say, he uh, took dinner. Okay, I can say, she uh, cleaned mm -hmm. their room. Okay, and up to here, we are using verbs in past of our regular verb, like play, cook, or clean. Hasta ahí, sí estamos usando verbos que terminan en ed. Estos verbos que terminan en ed, we call them regular verbs. Los llamamos verbos regulares, right? But not all the verbs, not all the verbs are regular. Pero no todos los verbos son regulares. So if I say I played soccer, yo jugué soccer. He cooked dinner. Ella cocinó la cena. Perdón, él. She cleaned her room. Ella limpió su cuarto. But what if I use different verbs? Pero puedo usar otro tipo de verbos. Like for example, it went to the park. We uh read a book you ate breakfast 
uh, they, um, they, what can we say? They wrote a letter. Mm -hmm. Ahí está. Si tú te das cuenta, estos verbos que están aquí, they are different, son diferentes, right? We say when, read, ate, and grow. Estos verbos no son verbos regulares, right? Estos verbos se les llaman de manera diferente. No terminan en ed. Estos verbos también están en pasado. Por ejemplo, when es el pasado del verbo go. Red es de read. Se escribe igual, pero se pronuncia diferente. In present, we say read. In past, we say read. Eat, eh, sorry, ate is the past of eat. And road is the past of right. Now, how do we call these verbs? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo llamamos estos verbos que no son regulares? How do we call them? Irregular verbs. Very good. We call them irregular verbs. Algunos cambian totalmente, right? Others not. Unos sí, otros no cambian totalmente. Like read, no cambia, ¿verdad? Es igual. Read, read. Pero se pronuncia red. En pasado, red. Nada más cambia la pronunciación. Otros sí. Otros como go, when, eat, a, go, right. Sí cambia. ¿Ok? So, We call these verbs irregular verbs, okay? Very good. So we have regular and irregular verbs, okay? Now, we're going to talk about another irregular verb. And this irregular verb is the past of the verb be, okay? The past of the verb be. We have the verb be in past, el verbo be in past. The verb be, you remember the verb be? ¿Te acuerdas del verbo be? What do you remember about the verb be? ¿De qué te acuerdas del verbo be? ¿Qué significa? ¿Para qué lo usábamos? ¿Para decir qué? Mm -hmm. We use it to say certain stuff, right? Am, is, or are, right? We say am, is, or are, right? So we use it again for I, he, she, it, we, do, and they, right? And as you remember, in every of the verbs in present is different, right? We say for I, we say am. I am. For he, she is, we say is. And for we, you, they, we say are. Okay? So we say I am, he, she, it is, we, you, they are. Okay? Very good. Now, this is in present. So I can say things like I am Mario, uh, he is Carlos, she is Sarah. We are Mario and Jaime, you are Jaime, they are Jaime and Carlos, right? And this is in present. But when we change this to past, cuando cambiamos esto a pasado, it's a little bit different. 
for example, we use one more time. Let me, let me change the card. We use one more time. I, I, he, she, it, we, you, and they. But to say yo era o yo estaba, I don't say I am. I say I, he, she, it, was. And I use we, you, they, we. Okay? I say, I was, he was, uh, she was, it was, you, sorry, we were, you were, and they were. For example, for example, yesterday, yesterday, let's say, yesterday, uh, yesterday, I was at the movie. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, he was very happy. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, she was at school. Yesterday, it was very hot, very hot. Mm -hmm. So that's the case of I, he, she, it. But when I say we, you, they, we say we were together, for example. Yesterday we were together. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, uh, Yesterday, you were at home. Yesterday, they were, um, they were at a party. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, okay? So we use I, T, C, it, was, we, you, they, were. This is in the affirmative form. Was. Where is in the affirmative form. We can use it also for negative form. For example, we want to make it negative. I might say, I was at the movies. I might say, I wasn't. Wasn't. And then I say, yo no estaba. Right? I wasn't at the movies. Uh -huh. And then you say, he was very happy. You say, he wasn't very happy. Uh, she was at the school. She wasn't at school. It was very hot. It wasn't very hot. We were together. We weren't. In the case of where, we use weren't. We weren't together, okay? You weren't uh, at home. They weren't, uh -huh. they weren't at a party, okay? So that's what we do, affirmative and negative form. Okay, Jaime, is it okay? Very good, honey. Okay, now let's practice this. Okay, let's practice this. We're going to do the next. I'm going to write a sentence in present. You need to change the sentence to past. Okay, very easy. Yo voy a escribir una oración en presente y tú la vas a cambiar a pasado. All right? You write it here on the chat. Las escribes aquí en el chat. Okay? There we go.
Okay, very good, honey. Let me see. Change them from present to past. All right, Sarah was a very beautiful baby. Good. Rachel was one of the best students. Great. My sister and me were very good friends. Perfect. I was late for class today. Good. Susan and Carol were good for math. Perfect timing. Very good job. Now, I want you to change those sentences, the same sentences from past affirmative to negative, ok? Ahora las vas a cambiar de afirmativo a negativo. The same sentence. Las mismas oraciones. But from affirmative to negative, ok? Go ahead, Jaime. How would you change them from affirmative to negative, ok? The same, the same over there.
All right, very good, very good, Jaime. So we have um, Sarah Watson, a very beautiful baby. Richard Watson, one of the best students. My sister and me were in very good friends. Uh, I wasn't late for a class today, and Susan and Carol were in good for me. Very good, I mean, very good. So it seems that you kind of get it, right? Okay. Let's go back to the book and let's continue with yesterday's, uh, well, with today's lesson, okay? So over here on the book, you can see exactly the same we were talking about. You have more examples, like for example, in the first one, it says, I was only 16 years. You were nervous. She, she was straight. It was awful. We were quiet. They were scared. I wasn't very old. You weren't relaxed. She wasn't very nice. It wasn't fun. We weren't noisy and they weren't happy. And then we have, were you nervous? Up to here, we have covered it. Hasta aquí es lo que estábamos viendo, right? Was and where. Affirmative and negative. But up to here, pero acá ahora tenemos questions, preguntas. So, as you remember, como recuerdas, the verb be, when we use it for question, cuando usamos el verbo to be para preguntas, it goes before the noun. Se usa antes del pronombre o del nombre de la persona, antes del sujeto. So the same happens for the past. Lo mismo pasa para el pasado. For example, if we use it in the present like this, y en el presente decimos, are you Jaime? Uh -huh. In past, we say the same. Were you Jaime? Uh -huh. If in present we say, is he a famous actor? In past we say, was he a Famous actor. Mm -hmm. So it's exactly the same. Exactamente igual, right? So over here we have, were you nervous? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was it fun? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Were they nice? Yes, they were. No, they were. Okay? In conversation. Was is one of the top 20 words. Entonces, was es una palabra muy usada. Ok, ahí tenemos how you use it for affirmative, cómo lo usamos para affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Ok, and here we have complete this conversation with was, wasn't, where, or weren't. Practice with a partner. And we have. Do you remember your first teacher? Yeah, Mr. Davis. He, he what? El que. He, ¿qué crees que iría ahí? He, he what? What do you think? I mean, he what? I mean, hello. Ah, he was. Very good, Jaime. Thank you. I thought like, oh, probably Jaime is not here. <laughs> Very good. So he was a lot of fun. He never streak. He never streak. What would you say? He, he what? Never streak. He.
what do you think? He Okay, okay. Ah, uh, here is one problem, Jaime. Look, it says he never speaks, okay? He, and then you got a space, and it says never speaks, right? Okay, the problem, Jaime, is that here it says never, right? And never in Spanish means, what does never mean in Spanish, Jaime? This word, never, what does it mean in Spanish? Nunca, right? So, in Spanish, it means nunca, right? And cuando, cuando, when we say nunca in Spanish, we usually say el nunca, nunca era estricto, right? El nunca era estricto. We don't... We 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 want we want to say el nunca era estricto. So since we want to say el nunca era estricto, we might say he was never strict. El nunca era, right? We don't say el nunca no era estricto. No no no. We say el nunca era, right? He was never strict, right? We do not, we do not have, mm -hmm, don't have double negative. Uh -huh. We don't have double negative, okay? No hay que poner dobles negativos. Uh -huh. No hay que doble negar, ¿verdad? We only say he was never strict. El nunca era strict, right? Error lógico. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Don't worry, okay? So we might say, he was never straight. Mm -hmm. Now, your teacher's phone. Your teacher's phone. What do you think, Jaime? Your teacher's phone. Uh, what do you think? Your teacher's fun. What do you think, Jaime? Okay, okay. Was your teachers? Check it out, Jaime. Check it out. It says teachers. It's plural. So since it's plural, 
I guess it cannot be was. Where? Very good. Where your teacher's phone? Very good, Jaime. No, they. No, they. No, they no, they wear. I don't think so, Jaime. I don't think wearing. Very good. Now they wear it. Very good. That's much better. Now they wear it. Uh, they always very strict. They always very strict. They always very strict. They Okay, what do you think, Jaime? They always very strict. They were, they were always very strict, very good. And the next one says, do you remember the first CD you bought? Yeah, it, it was. It was, yes, the bad street boy. Very good. They, they what? They. They wear very good. They wear my favorite group. Tell me about your first best friend. You in school together. You in school together. There. Uh huh. You in school together. I thought you was very angry where, but not, right? June and school together, what do you think? You in school together. Hello, Jaime. Kind of. Yes, yes, Jaime. Oh, yeah. Where 
very good. Were you in school together? No, we, no, we, no, we, No, we weren't. No, we weren't. She in my class. She She was, no, listen, it says, we were in a school, they were in a school together, no estaban en la escuela juntos, si no estaban en la escuela juntos, ella, ella qué, in my class. She wasn't, she wasn't in my class. She, we're almost done, right, we're almost done. She was my neighbor or parents or parents. Or parents. We're friends. Very good, Jaime. We're almost done. Ya casi acabamos. Let's check this. Did you have a pet when you... When you... Did you have a pet when you... Mm -hmm. When you, when you, when you, when you, when you, the low time. When you was? No, we don't say you was. We say you. We don't use you with was. ¿Con cuál usamos el you? No, we don't use it with was. Where, right? So when you wear, that's good. Yeah, my first pet, my first pet. A little funny. My first pet. My first pet. A little funny. My first pet was a little funny. Very good. And the last one, la última. Eat very big. Eat very big. It's very big, it's very big.
It's very big. It's very big. What do you think, high name? Yes, it was very big. Excellent. Good job. All right. All right. Okay. So we have speaking naturally stress and information. Hey, Jaime, do you by any chance have a set of headphones? Tienes por ahí, eh, o, o no sé si tengas tú, eh, así de estos audífonos para el teléfono que puedas usar para las clases. Para que podamos practicar esto del speaking naturally, que, que yo creo que también sería importante. Si tienes o no tienes. Digo, si no tienes ahorita está bien, pero no sé si para la otra clase igual si tengas para poder este, ir practicando. Sobre todo esas partes del speaking naturally que son muy importantes para la pronunciación. So what do you think? Si, 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 los, si tienes, si los podrás conseguir. Ok, pero ¿crees que para la otra igual a lo mejor puedas conseguir alguno? Ok, perfecto Jaime, gracias. Sí, para la otra, eh, ahí, ahí consigue uno y ya para que podamos practicar sobre toda esa parte de la speaking natural. Perfecto, ok. Este, we have, uh, did you remember your first English class? Vamos a tratarnos lo del speaking natural y vamos hasta esta. Dice, did you remember your first English class? Was the class easy? Were the other students good? Were they nice to you? Was your teacher strict? Y tenemos ahí estas cuatro preguntas. Estas cuatro preguntas las había dejado la mis de tarea. Te las voy a dejar para que tú también las practiques de tarea. Y la próxima semana con Carlos ya las vamos a revisar. Sirve que tienes tus audífonos y practicamos con ellas. ¿Ok? Entonces vas a responder las esas cuatro. Las respondes y ya la próxima semana, la próxima clase las revisamos. Ok, el miércoles las revisamos. Ok, very good. Continúo, vamos a continuar. Ok. Next part. Lesson B. Lesson B. Ok. On lesson B we have vacation. Vacation. Building language. Where are good places to go on vacation? Tell uh, the class. For example, in your case, uh, in your case, Jaime, where are good places to go on vacation? Well, in my opinion, good places to go on vacation are, for example, in Quintana Roo. You have Cancun. You have Playa del Carmen. You have uh uh Chetumal, you have Tulum, you have many good places to go on vacation. What about you? What are good places to go on vacation for you? ¿Cuáles serán buenos lugares para ir de vacaciones para ti? In your opinion. Hello, Liz.
Puerto Vallarta, okay? So you think Puerto Vallarta is a good place to go on vacation. Very good. Okay, Jaime, let me introduce to you another teacher. This is teacher Liz Contreras. Say hello, Liz. Say hello. hello. Okay. Hello, okay. Can, you, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you well. Okay, uh, okay. teacher Lee is joining us also, you know, to have more practice, Jaime, para que practiquemos más, porque nada más estás tú solita, le dije a, a Liz que también nos acompañará hoy, okay? Entonces, Liz, we're talking about good places yeah. to go on vacation. Jaime no tiene sus headphones today, so he's only grinding, but Jaime says that a good place mm -hmm. to go on vacation is Puerto Vallarta. I told him a good place to go on vacation for me is uh, Quintana Roo. What about you? What do you think is a good place for go, to go on vacation? California. California? Why? <laughs> yeah. I like it there. I was born there, so, you know, it's my hometown. Okay, what places can you visit in California? Well, I mean, I've visited many places there, you know, the places are, are great. Especially when you like to surf. All right, all right. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't know California. Yo no conozco California. Do you, Jaime, know California? ¿Tú conoces California, Jaime? No, okay. So... We don't know California, <laughs> but we trust you, Liz. If you say California is a nice place to visit, it's okay. Okay, very good. Okay, now, here we have, listen, what did Jason do on his vacation? Practice the conversation. Oh, Jaime is writing something. What happened, Jaime? No sé. All right, well, I guess nothing, right? Okay, mm -hmm. let's continue on, Jaime, okay? Well, we're going to continue. Let's listen to this conversation. Let's listen to the conversation. In this conversation, we have Two different, two friends. It seems that they are two friends talking about their vacations. We are going to listen to these two friends talking about the vacations. What did they do? What did they do on their last vacation? Okay, let's let's listen to them. Give me a sec. I'm loading audio in. Well, today we only have Jaime. Usually in this group we might have like two or three. There we go. Let's listen. My goodness, I cannot listen. Can you guys listen? No, right? No, it's like frozen. Mm, nope, I cannot leave it. Let me try again. P 
page 110. Lesson B, vacations. One, building language. B, listen. What did Jason do on his vacation? Great picture. When did you get back? Last night. So how was your vacation? Oh, it was wonderful. Where did you go exactly? We went to Hawaii. Wow. What was the weather like? It was hot, but not too hot. Nice. So what did you do there? We went to the beach every day, and I went parasailing. I didn't want to come home. Well, I'm glad you did. <laughs> I have a ton of work for you. Okay, okay. So, Jaime, what did Jason do on his last vacation? What did he do on his vacation? Well, let's get this started by, by the place. Where did he go on vacation? Did you hear, Jaime? Where did he go on vacation? Did you listen to the conversation? I guess his internet is kind of slow because he, he tends to, you know, to pay a while to answer. <laughs> really? Hello, hi. But you can listen to the audio, right? Yeah, I can. So, yeah, I guess probably he's doing kind of slow. His uh, webcam is not on? No, the thing is that um, the previous teacher who was working, you know, with, with them, with this group, um, didn't ask them, you know, to turn on the camera and the audio. They were doing it just on the chat. So, because it's, you know, kind of easy. Uh, so, uh, they don't have the webcam. And I just talked to him, you know, about bringing headphones you know to the class so he says he he will bring some headphones for the for the following class hi ma'am where did jason go on vacation did you hear if you just hi hello hi ah, see yeah, i i think he's typing yeah yeah right it says Where did Jason go on vacation? You want me to repeat? Yes, it's a repeat, Jaime, or it's okay like that. Repeat. Okay, I repeat it. Okay, I repeat it. Don't worry. Okay, let's do it again. One more time. Page 110. Lesson B. Vacations. 1. Building language. B. Listen. What did Jason do on his vacation? Great picture. When did you get back? Last night. So, how was your vacation? Oh, it was wonderful. Where did you go exactly? We went to Hawaii. Wow. What was the weather like? It was hot, but not too hot. Nice. So, what did you do there? We went to the beach every day, and I went parasailing. I didn't want to come home. Well, I'm glad you did. <laughs> I have a ton of work for you. Okay. Page 110. Okay. Lesson B. Okay, okay. Yeah, Jaime. So, where did Jason go on vacation? 
Where did he go on vacation? It's a very popular place in the United States for vacation. And especially for surfers. I told you he, he takes a while <laughs> to end. Yeah. yeah, I see that. Yeah, that's why we haven't done like a lot today. But you missed the first part. It was very, very interesting. I was explaining, you know, the, the use of the bird bee. And that's what I want you to, to learn, you know how to introduce new language and vocabulary to students so students happen to understand it, you know, to get it, to, and to use it. That's what I would like you to learn. Hi, May. Well, 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 probably, like, for example, like, um, how oh, high is typing? So, and you're recording this class right now, right? Yeah, I am recording this class right now. Yeah, I'll share it with the with the group, you know, with the other students, so the students can see the class. And if they miss, well, actually they miss, you know, so they can mm -hmm. uh, see what the class was about. As I said, you know, we haven't done like pretty much. Like the only mm -hmm. bird. Yes. I listen a lot. You listen a lot. What do you mean? Uh, okay. I don't understand, Jaime. No, not, not, nothing, nothing can be. ¿Te refieres a que no escuchas bien el audio o qué, qué pasa? ¿O escuchas que dicen muchas cosas? El audio, ok, no, no se escucha bien. No, ok. Ok, don't worry, Jaime, don't worry, it's ok. All right. All right, we, instead of that, what we're going to do is that to read the conversation, mm -hmm. okay? Let's read the conversation. The good thing is that uh, Liz is here today. So, Liz, could you help me and we can read the conversation together? I'm going to read Jason's yeah. part and you will read Diana's part, okay? Okay, Jaime, vamos a leer la conversación para ti. Liz... Teacher Liz will read Diana's part and you will hear Jason's part. Okay? Listen to the conversation, Jaime. Escúchala, okay? It says, you start, you start, Liz. Okay, yeah. Great picture. Where did you get back? Last night. So how was your vacation? Uh, it was wonderful. Where did you go exactly? We went to Hawaii. Wow. What was the weather like? It was hot, but not too hot. Nice. So what did you do there? Oh, we went to the beach every day. And I went parasailing. I didn't want to come home. 
Well, I'm glad you did. I have a ton of work for you. <laughs> a ton of work for you. Okay, time. Now, tell me, where did Jason go on vacation? Where did Jason go on vacation? Where did Jason go on vacation? Jason was on vacation in Hawaii. Very good, okay? Very good. Okay, but here is a mistake. Look, Jaime, you say Jason was on vacation in Hawaii. And when you say Jason was, Jason fue, but was es fue del verbo estar, right? No del verbo ir. So you might say Jason when on vacation to Hawaii. That's how you would say it, okay? Jason went on vacation to Hawaii, okay? Fue de vacación. When, when, del verbo ir. Go, when, okay? That's how we would say it, okay? Very good. Now, tell me, Jaime, what did Jason do? What did he do on Hawaii? What did he do? He did something, right? What did he do? Tell me something he did. Something interesting. He did. I mean, hello, I mean, <laughs> you tell me, Liz, you tell me, ah, no, 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 don't tell me, like, I may say, I may say. you know English already, right, like, you, it, it, it's not fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it appears like if I may typing now and then boom, nothing. Ah, yeah, there, is, there he goes. He's typing again. Probably he's typing on the Facebook, right? Ah, I oh, got it.
Tell me one thing he did, Jaime. What did he do? Jason went to the beach every day. Very good. He went to the beach every day and he also went parasailing. Do you understand parasailing, Jaime? Do you understand parasailing? Do you know what parasailing is? Do you understand parasailing? Do you know parasailing? Do you know what it is? Hello. Oh my goodness. I don't know. He's typing. He's typing. <laughs> <laughs> he's typing. The computer says he's typing, but nothing appeared. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and I'm then boom, like a while ago, the computer was, oh, you know, your camera was off and I couldn't hear you. And I was the same way like now with, with Jaime. I was, hey, please, please, please. You didn't answer and I had to go to the office, you know, to make some deposits. And... Uh, that's yeah. where I closed the computer, you know. Didn't wait for you to come back. Yeah, so I tried. I mean, I said. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, I tried to log in and, and say log in, but it said log me off. And it said no event yeah. has started yet. Since you were not in the attendant list, I thought like, oh, this lady probably had another problem with the computer, and I, that's what I locked out. Oh. So, Jaime, parasailing, yes. Do you understand parasailing or not? No, okay. Liz is going to explain you. Explain her, Liz. Explain him, Liz. What is Farah saying? <laughs> Actually, here in Acapulco, it's, they're very famous. You know, when you see um, some someone on top of the sky with like a type of balloon stuff, and then they're attached to a boat. You know? Here in Acapulco, they do them a lot. You see them often. It's the type of hygiene. Uh -huh. Probably, probably your explanation was not very good. <laughs> okay, Jaime, look, look at the picture. Can you see the picture right here? This is for a sailing. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. That is for a sailing. So Lee says that uh, when you go to the beach, you know, there is a lot of people in Acapulco who practice for a sailing, you know, like very popular, right, Liz? That's what you were saying, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Very good. So Jason went for a sailing. Now, can you complete this question then as a partner? 
We have question number one. What, what, what do you think? Liz is going to help you with number one and you are going to do number two, Jaime. Liz, help him. What? Did you do last summer? Very good. Very intelligent. Wow. What did you do last summer? Okay, now you, Jaime, what the weather like? The weather like? What the weather like? What do you think? What? The weather like. Hi, man. What the weather like? Hello. Okay, this is going to help me with number two. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> was the weather like? What was the weather good. like? What was the weather like? Very good, Liz. Oh my goodness. You are going to be in the honor roll. What was the weather like? <laughs> okay. So, what did you do last summer and what was the weather like? Okay. All right. All right, all right. Uh, Jaime, are you there? Yes, okay, very good. So, what did you do last summer? First, Liz is going to ask me and I'm going to answer and then I'm going to ask you, Jaime, okay? Let's see, Liz, ask me. The, the two questions, first the number one and then the second one. Uh, the one we just did or the bottom ones? Yeah, the, 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 the ones we just did. Okay, what did you do last summer? Well, actually last summer, uh, I went on vacation with my family to Mexico City and Cuernavaca. We went to Six Flags, uh, we went shopping, uh, we went to Cuernavaca because my two sisters live there, so we went visit them, uh, visit my niece and nephews too, and we had a good time there, we had, you know, like some good family time there with them, and uh, we visited the mom too in Cuernavaca, and then the second one, please. What was the weather like? Well, the weather was wonderful, you know, in Cuernavaca it was really cool, you know, uh, cool, uh, cloudy, but not very cold, you know, it was not cold at all. But then when we went to Six Flags, it was, you know, really, really difficult because uh, we went to Six Flags and everything was going okay. But then by 1, 2 p.m., it started raining, so we couldn't continue, you know. We barely got on two or three dollar cutters, and we couldn't continue because it started raining and it was very cold. Okay, what about you, Jaime? What did you do last summer? What did you do last summer? I... I'm excited, very
So Jaime, what did you do last summer? Oh, you went to Acapulco and visited the Fuerte de San Diego. Very good, very good. And what was the weather like? What was the weather like? The weather was hot, yeah. as always in Acapulco, it is always hot. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, very good, Jaime. So we continue on. And in the next part, it says grammar, simple, fast information question. And here we have how we form information questions. You remember these information questions? We have how, which is como, where, donde, how long, cuanto tiempo, what, que, where, donde, who, quien, what, que, and when, cuando, right? So, when we want to make questions in English and we want to make these questions in past, we usually follow the next pattern. We first use the information question. I'm going to grade it with W each. Yo las information question, nada más le voy a poner W each. Okay? And then, we got the information question. And after the information question, we will write the auxiliary there. We will write the auxiliary there after the information question. Okay? So, the auxiliary verb. ¿Cuál será el auxiliary verb para el past? Para el pasado, the auxiliary verb is the. O también puede ser was or where. Dependiendo. Si usamos el verbo to be, entonces was or where. Y si usamos cualquier otro verbo, entonces sería eh, the. Right? Very good. So, we use W each question, usamos W each question or, or information question. Then we use did, usamos el did or el was or el where. And then, y de ahí, después de esto, what should we use? ¿Qué deberíamos usar? Oh, uh, then after this, we may use that person. Vamos a poner a la persona, right? We may use the person. Okay. For example, you say, what did you do? For example, what did you? Y después del you o de la persona, a la persona la voy a poner uh, using a right person, right? Person. Person. There we go. Okay. Then after the person, ahora sí, después de la persona, we may write lo que vamos a hacer es poner the verb, el verbo, right? The verb. Pero, como ya usamos el auxiliar acá, y ya usamos el did, so, in this case, we are not going to write the verb in past. Ya el verbo ya no va en pasado. Ya el verbo va en su forma simple. Eso quiere decir que el verbo ya va normal. O en su forma simple, o si tú quieres ver, como presente, right? That's how we do it. Y para terminar, podemos usar un complemento o podemos cerrar ahí la pregunta, ¿ok? Así es como hacemos las preguntas. Primero va la pregunta, what, where, how, when. De ahí va el auxiliar. 
did, was, or where. Then we use the person, then we use the verb in simple form. And then we can have a complement or finish with a question mark. Okay, very good. So we have them. How was your vacation? Pregunta, auxiliar, then la, eh, la persona, en este caso is your vacation. Where were you exactly? ¿Dónde estabas tú? Exactly. Pregunta, auxiliar, persona, complemento. In this case, there's no other verb. Ya no hay otro verbo. How long were you there? What was the weather like? Aquí sí hay otro verbo. Mira. Pregunta, auxiliar, persona, verbo. Like. Ok. Then we got, where did you go? Pregunta, auxiliar, persona, verbo. How did you go? Who did you go with? ¿Con quién fuiste? What did you do? When did you get back? Cuando regresas. Right? And we got the answers. It was fun. In Hawaii. A week. It was hard. To Hawaii. A couple of friends. We went to the beach last night. Okay? Very good. All right. Write questions about a vacation for these answers. Then ask and answer the questions with a partner. Give your own answer. Okay? And the first one says, It was great. Dice, estuvo genial. Great. Y la pregunta, oh, 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 what happened, what happened? Don't change it, Liz. No la cambio, Liz, okay? It says, no, I don't. Uh, How was your last vacation? How was your last vacation? It was great. Then number two. I went to England. I went to England. What do you think the question should be? ¿Cuál crees que sería la pregunta? Uh, Jaime, what do you think? I went to England. ¿Qué pregunta sería? Para empezar. Who, where, how long, how, what? What should we use? Where were you exactly? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think so, Jaime. No necesariamente tiene que ser una de las que están acá, right? Entonces, aquí, you are okay. Si estás bien, we might use the question where, okay? Where, okay? Pero ahora, ¿qué seguirá? Dice, went to England. Fui a Inglaterra. Went to England. Como el verbo es go, what auxiliar should we use? ¿Qué auxiliar usaríamos? Did or was or where? El verbo es go, we, go. So what do you think? Should we use did or was or where? To make this question, should we use did or was or where? I mean. Okay, so okay means did or was or where? Did, was or where? Where did, very good. Where did, ahora, ¿cuál será la persona? I, he, she, it, we, you, or they. Where did the person, ¿qué persona? What should we write? I mean.
you, only you, not your, only you. Where did you? Y ahora sí el verbo. And we say the verb y dijimos que el verbo era. Where did you go? Very good. Where did you go? Ahí está. Where did you go? I went to the Very good. Okay. Next one says. Awful. It rained every day. What is he talking about? ¿De qué está hablando? What is he talking about? He's talking about the weather. So we might the weather. So what should we say for the weather? ¿Qué, qué pregunta hacemos para el clima? Ese sí está ahí arriba. Actually, we just... Hey, don't move it, don't move it. Can you scroll down? Can you scroll down the page? Scroll it down? Yeah, that's it. That's like, the scroll whole down page. so I can see... Oh, that's the whole page. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is the whole page. And this is the, 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 you know, the bottom of the page. Oh, okay. So, Jaime, what is the question we use for weather? What was the weather, right? What was the weather like? What was the weather like? Very good. Okay. Then my best friend. My best friend. Esa pregunta es con quién fuiste. Con quién fuiste. Ah, también está ahí entre las que están ahí arriba. What question would it be? Okay. Con quién tú? All right, Jaime. Hello, Jaime. Nope. Ok. ¿Con quién fuiste? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo hacemos esa pregunta? ¿Con quién fuiste? What do you think, Liz? How do you make that question? Who did you go with? Very good. So we say, who did you go with? Si te das cuenta otra vez, seguimos el mismo que te decía, el mismo patrón. Primero la pregunta, who, el auxiliar, did, la persona, you, el verbo, go, y un complemento, en este caso es, what, que es quién, con quién, who did you go with. Very good. Jaime, the two last questions, las dos últimas, también quedan de tarea. So, you have two homeworks, Jaime. These two questions are for homework, and you also have this other questions right here for homework so these two and these four okay so you got those six questions for homework okay Jaime all right we're going to stop here today and we are going to continue on Wednesday Jaime okay thank you very much I'll see you on Wednesday Jaime you leave could you stay just for another two or Three minutes just to yeah. you, like to, to agree on our next uh, point. Yes. Good night. Good night. Hi. Bye. Good night. Stop the recording.